So today I'll be teaching right here by Keshi. So let's just go into it. The chords sound like this. And so the first chord, you put your middle finger on the ninth fret. On the, from top to bottom of the second string. So right here. And then you put your pointer finger right here on the seventh fret of the third string. And then you put this finger on the fourth string and on the ninth fret, and your pinky, like also on the ninth fret, and so something like this. So a more clear version would be like, yeah, you can see this right. So this first chord, second chord. So what's optimal, or what I do at least, is I put my thumb here on the seventh fret of the first string. And then my pointer on my on the third string on the seventh fret also, uh, the middle finger on the eighth fret, and this finger because I don't know <laughs> what it's called right now on the ninth fret of the fifth string, the fifth string. So now for some people I don't know why, but you could also do it like this, right? And just kind of switch the fingers up. So not every chord has to be like pushed in a certain way. Now let's go to the next chord, which is this one. And you put your pink point or finger on the second string of the seventh fret, and then your this finger on the third string of the ninth fret, middle on the fourth string of the eighth fret, and then your pinky on the fifth string of the ninth fret also. So it sounds like this. And then for the last one, it's you put your middle, middle finger on the second string of the eighth fret. And then you put your this finger on the third string of the ninth fret, and the point pointer on the fourth string of the seventh fret. And then pinky also on the fifth string of the ninth fret. And now, a, a good way to like know like where which fret is is you see these like dots over here right you see like these dots like at least for mine it's this is the third fret this is the actually yeah, i can see it here so the dot here this is the third fret this is the fifth fret this is the seventh fret this is the ninth fret and this is the twelfth fret and so you can kind of like uh, determine where which fret is with these dots so it's easier to kind of count that way instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which you can still do, but it's a lot slower. And so that's just how it sounds. And now I'm gonna teach you like the picking. Well, yeah, picking, I guess. No, it's strumming. So how I play it is like this. Now this is a very simple version, so if you're feeling like a bit more groovy, you can go like... And so, so basically it's just, you do, you use your thumb on the second, second string, you do this. Four fingers, so it's da, da, da. and you can also put in like a slap for like a percussion, right? So slowing it down would be and then all the strings together. So let's say one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four, slap, and then you put it into like a sort of tempo and it's... Now a way to mix things even more, or make things even sound more like complicated I guess, uh, you can add this chord. So. So add that into it would be and so 
this chord is again how I put how I press it is thumb on the first string of the seventh fret, then pointer on the third string of the seventh fret, and then this finger on the fourth string of the eighth fret, and then middle finger on the fifth string of the seventh fret. And it sounds like this. And now actually this this like kind of pattern is very often seen. This is if you listen closely, it can actually sounds very similar to the chords of Paris in the Rain, which sounds like this. Now the main difference is this chord, but even if you did this, you could still sing Paris in the Rain. So, for example, right? I know it's fun of how you Do you remember about this friend you said you listened to? And now if you want to play Paris in the Rain, well, just move everything two frets up. Or you could play the last chord from the tutorial that I saw beforehand was it sounds like this, which is just these four fingers and then putting them all on the seventh fret. And then being one, three, four, five. You could also bar it if you are more advanced, I guess. And so, same pairs in the rain. Well, so that's how it goes. And now, I think that's what we get. And maybe this transition might be a little hard for you, so... And so, something you can practice is doing this. Just being very slick and try to not have, like, other sounds come out, like, you don't want... That's a, that's a horrible example. Well, that's a great example of something that's wrong, but I think you get my point. It's this sort of finger style, I guess. And that's sliding. So if you want to do that, well, I'm kind of going on a tangent, but you know. Now that's my pinky. The high note is on my pinky, right? So you can do this and slide down the frets. You can also do a little vibrato, which is kind of like swing. If you're more advanced, you could do like a better vibrato. I'm not that good. So again, would be. And it sounds very fancy, right? But it actually isn't that hard. It might take a, a while to develop the techniques. But yeah, everything takes time. So you can like kind of switch up the pattern to like fit the song. Oh, I was showing you better, better, better. Come on, say that. Cut the air. Cause I don't got time for that. And that's basically it. If you want to listen to my cover, you can look it up. I'm too lazy to put it in my description or my, any link. So hope this helped you. If it didn't, please tell me. And if you watch till then, I'm very thankful. Um, if you think I've done things more badly, or if you have any better suggestions, please tell me in the comments. Uh, if you want me to put tabs, uh, tell me, because currently I don't have a massive audience to say. I'm definitely very grateful for everyone that subscribed or just watches my things in general. And yeah, until the end, hope this helped you.